It's Tuesday, July 3rd, 6.28 a.m. And I woke up to a mess out here. I don't even know what to make of this. This is so crazy. First of all, as you can see, everything's messed up. And my first inclination about that is it was a young one up here. There are pieces of something all over the place. The little Bigfoot dolls are ripped open. They had little balls in them, which I'm assuming would be those. I can see those in their heads. Um, but these are just, they're ripped to shreds. Look at that. And they, they took those little balls out of their heads. Game pieces are on the ground, the dice is on the ground, the girl dolls on the ground. This one. Oh, I see they took it out through there. Yeah, there's some of it inside. What in the world were they doing? I mean, these are ripped to shreds. Must have been a young one trying to... Good grief. Her hair's undone. <sighs> so... Hmm. Guess this might be done for. That's turned over. All that's messed up. So, dice. See, there's the things that were in their heads. You know, I think they did light up. So that might be what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Let me see. In oh, there. Yep, that's it. They lit up. So they, they took these all apart. I don't know if it was a young one trying to see what this was all about or what. Because usually when things are all messed up, it's a young one. I figure. <laughs> hmm. Well. Uh, and I have to go to work, of course, and I'm late. So I'm just going to pick this all up and lay it up here till I can get home and figure out what to do. Uh, this is definitely weird and it's not, it wasn't some kind of animal because an animal wouldn't have taken these apart in their head and pulled out the ball for no reason. I mean, it's like it's food or something. They've been out here for three, almost three years. Three years, something like that. So, anyways, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it till I get back. This is probably how I'll leave it. Didn't touch these, did they? Now, one thing is that these were a little bit stuck to the railing. Because they hadn't been moved in a while, but that wouldn't make their heads rip open or their legs rip off. So, anyways, 
I don't see anything else. Alright, I gotta go. Real quick, I just want to add in here too that we sat out here on the porch last night. And when Jim he came out before I did, and just before he came, or just as he came out and opened the door, there's a really loud knock down by the falling down building. He said it was so loud it even echoed and everything. And then later, there was some kind of a, it sounded like something fell on the metal roof of it down there. So, I went over and talked to him and stuff. So, I don't know. Gotta go now. Okay, I'm home now. I've cleaned up the mess. And... I've decided to... Take those Bigfoot dolls in. The ones that were all ripped up. And I'm going to use these ones now to be... Represent our friendship. So I moved them over here, moved all this stuff down because these get really melty in the sun. And so I had to rearrange it a little bit because these things used to be on the right side of the girl doll. So this is what's left out here right now. And I wanted to I'll also tell you that while I was up here rearranging everything and cleaning this up from down there by the falling down building where we've been hearing a lot of noises lately, I heard a really human like, ooh, come from right down there. So, I'm pretty sure that was them. So, anyways. I think that's all I need to tell you right now. Um, okay. I know what else I wanted to say. <laughs> um, I think that it was a young one, probably, and that, you know, ripped those up. They took the, there were little balls that lit up inside their heads. Those were all taken out, and the two of, wait, one of them was smashed. I think they were all taken apart. But what they did was they took those out. And I'm wondering if we got a little Bigfoot, or maybe not so little, I don't know, that likes to take things apart, seeing how my recorders coming back in pieces and <laughs> you know one of the electronic ball things that lit up that was in their heads was still working so I don't know maybe they saw that lit up in the one in the newest one and thought what the heck's that so they wanted to see what it was and they took them all out but anyways the old Bigfoot dolls are retired. I'm so sad. These have a lot of meaning. I'm keeping them, but... Um, yep, they're done on the railing. It's Wednesday, July 4th, 8.53 a.m. And Jim and I sat out here last night for quite a long time. Um, just talking and having something to drink and everything. And we were putting our drinks, well, we always put our drinks and stuff on that table. And now they've got it tipped over, leaning on my chair. And while we sat here, we heard stuff. We heard something back at that corner of the house. And I got it on audio, so I'll probably include that.
And um, we also heard something back there, but it didn't come out very good on the audio, so I didn't include it. Or I didn't keep it. But that did, so I'll probably put that in. So, I did that. And this game piece, or whatever you want to call it, is moved over a little bit. This is how it was last night, and now they're touching. So, there's that that I think they did too. And then, I was walking around the house, and I thought I should, I got to the front porch. And I'll show you something there. So I got here, and I thought, you know what? I better look in my boots because I haven't looked in there in quite a while. I've been thinking about it, but I thought, I don't see nothing sticking out or anything. Well, I'm glad I looked because inside my left boot is a green lighter. And it's empty. So apparently, you put that in there as a gift. Yeah, I don't feel anything else. I have no idea when they did it, but I'm really glad I had the urge to look in there. <laughs> so that's all, and I wanted to tell them thanks for this gift. It is Saturday, July 7th, 7.53 p.m. Uh, Jim and I were gone for a couple days. We got home um, I don't know, around 2 o'clock. Let me check the uh, my pictures here for a second. Okay, correction. We got home about 1.30 and um, I had to unpack and I put a couple things on the railing. I put a flower that I found laying on the ground in here and Jim found one of these balls like they give me Nerf bullet balls. He found a yellow one where he works. So I had that he actually gave it to me before we left. Well, I grabbed it and put it out here. I put it on that twine. And that was a tendril, too. So I went in and I laid down because I haven't felt good. And um, I just now got up and look where they put the ball. Right in the middle of my chair. So I think they're saying, hey, those are, uh, those are for you. We bring those to you. So that's pretty cool. So they gifted it back to me. And now I don't know if they think it's one that they gave me or not. The last two they brought me were orange. The yellow one that they brought me was a long time ago. I'll look that up and see if I can put it in here to show you when they brought that. But that's pretty funny. Pretty cool that they put it in my chair. <laughs> okay, um, I don't believe I saw anything else. So that'll be it for now. I almost forgot about this. Um, we got a bunch of zucchinis, so I put four of them out here, thinking maybe they would want them to eat. And this is also after we came home. And now one is moved pulled down and there are scratch marks on it and on this one so I don't know if that was them or what but since they were up it makes me wonder if it was them or not I'm going to leave them out here so if one goes missing then we'll know for sure it was them because they're pretty big okay Okay, when I picked this up off the chair, I saw that there is a hair on it that was not there when I put it 
on the chair. So I'm going to collect it and keep it. I don't think it's from that twine. I suppose it could be. But I, wanna, I think it's a hair. I'm going to look at it better when I take it off of here. Okay, now I've gone back and looked through my treasures, and I was wrong. There's actually two other yellow balls that they gave me. So, this is the one that I put out today, and they gave me back. This one was the first one, and it's exactly like that one. And that was found on July 30th, 2016, is when they gave that one to me. The next one was May 30th and this was put in a little metal basket just like the other ones the orange ones are not Nerf they have a D something D something on them to say DZ but they gave me that one June 19th and they gave me this one June 28th this one was on the air conditioner, and this one was on my green chair on the back porch, just like they did this one today. Now, what's really significant about this is I told you that Jim found this where he works. So, I want Jim to explain to you what's been going on where he works, because it's pretty significant, we think. Because we're thinking that this could be where they're getting a lot of the gifts they bring me since he found this in a dumpster where he works laying right on top so Jim first of all you work in town but it's right on the edge of woods and you said that one of the tenants there told you some things so go ahead and tell me what he told you the, the dumpster that I got first of all I threw garbage in this dumpster before I started work which is where I got that ball mm -hmm. but it's the same dumpster that a resident where I work told me that he hears a dumpster opening and closing and slamming at night mm -hmm. okay so what we're thinking is we've been wondering about all these little kids toys that I've been getting and the place that a gym works has a lot of children living there right Jim yes and so we're thinking that my Bigfoots might be traveling into town there that might be where they go for a few days and when they come back uh, they bring me stuff they find there because Jim found this in the dumpster and they brought me three recently so but there's more to it. Was it Thursday when you went to work? Tell them what happened. When I got out of my truck and I walked around to the other side to get my lunch and stuff out, I heard two very distinct whoops from down over the hill by the dumpster that I got the ball out of. Mm -hmm. And you said that it was just no doubt that it no was doubt. A, no doubt it was a Bigfoot. And also what's significant is that this apartment complex is within about half a mile from... Quarter mile. Quarter mile from Jim's parents' house, which is four miles from our house. So we already thought they'd go there because they brought that wrench back that we left at his parents'. So now we think for sure. And, oh... You heard the air starter sound. You and the guy that works with you. Me and, yeah, yes. Tell about that, too. I forgot about that. We were both outside in the back <laughs> of the unit, and we heard that air starter sound that we hear here. Mm -hmm. Was it in the morning? Yes. Real early in the morning. Yeah. So, we'll go ahead and finish with it. And the guy that I was working with was like, what the F was that? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing around us. What the F was that? Yeah, <laughs> so that also makes me think that it's probably one of our Bigfoots because they do that here all the time. 
I mean, it could be a different group. We don't know for sure, but we're just trying to put it all together and it's making sense. So that's what we're thinking anyways. So this is the one that I put out that Jim found, and this is the one from May 30th. So it's been five weeks, basically, since they brought me a yellow one. I forgot that they brought this one that recent. And when I put this out, I was thinking, I hope that they don't get offended because they gave me one. They might think that that is the same ball that they gave me. They don't know, unless they saw Jim find this. But, see, people are always saying to me, you should re-gift what they give you. See if they want it back. Well, see what happened. I put a yellow ball out, just like one they gave me five weeks ago, and they put it on my chair. So, I feel like it's almost um, an insult to give them a gift back that they give me or... Um, something very similar. It's like, oh, that ain't that great of a gift. I already got one, you know? So, <laughs> this is why I don't re-gift, because I feel like it's rude, and I feel that they sense, have a sense of that. So, anyways, I just wanted to add that in, because to me, that's important. Guys, I was just putting these back in here, and <laughs> this was in the box, and look at it. It's just like disintegrating. It must have been damaged really bad, because it's in a million pieces now, and there is no way they'll ever get anything off of that. So, that's too bad, but... It must have been really, really damaged to fall apart like that. It's now 10, 12 p.m. At 9.30, I put a couple new things out here on the porch, and one of them is a music box. And I made sure I closed the clasp and everything on it. And I just came out to check things real quick before I go to bed. And the music box is open. Now we were on the front porch. And I don't know how we didn't hear the music. Because I had it set. If it, if it opens, it plays a song. But it's definitely open. So they opened it. They didn't mess with this that I can see. So I'm going to close it back up. And see if they open it again tonight. And I might put my sound recorder in the window right next to it to see if we can catch the music. So, okay, that's what I'm going to do. It's Sunday, July 8th, and it's about 2.30. I've already been out here. I took a nap and I had this laying here um, this game and I'll show you a picture of how I had it but while I was in there sleeping I think they were up because their marbles moved off and we've been looking and we've accounted for all of them See, there's a, a green and an orange, a black and an orange, another green, and a white one back, right back there. But there's a black one missing. And I would say if they were going to take one, that would be a black one, because it's the most unusual one. So, I think they were up and took that while I was sleeping. I don't know for sure if it turns up somewhere. It's Wednesday, July 11th, 7.59 a.m. 
and I already checked the back porch so I know nothing happened back there actually I checked this first and I saw that something did happen um, first of all that chair is usually angled like I used to keep the green chair it's straight and the shoes I usually keep facing the other way turned around as you probably know I'll show a picture here but uh, yeah they're turned around so apparently they're back to straightening my chair and messing with my shoes so it's kind of cool actually I'm going to check the shoes make sure there's nothing in there too when I get off of here if there is I'll let you know It's Thursday, July 12th, 8.51 p.m., and uh, some stuff happened this morning, but I didn't document it on video because, well, the chair was moved, it was straightened again, and I fixed it. I put it back before I realized that I didn't do a video, so I'll show you the pictures and tell you what happened. Okay, yesterday after they straightened my chair and did all that, I put it, everything back, and this is how my shoes looked under the chair. Okay, so this was yesterday after I put it back. Now this picture is this morning. They had straightened my chair again, and there's something that they did with the shoes, which I noticed this morning, but I didn't look back in the pictures to realize that yes it was definitely something that they did so I'm going to make this bigger so you can see they put the shoelaces from the right boot both over into the left boot it wasn't like that yesterday so I put them back out like that so that I would know if, if they change it again tomorrow I'll know but I found something over here to the side of the house it was really <clears throat> interesting Jim mowed yesterday and he ran over all this so he knows that this wasn't here yesterday and I don't remember seeing it either but there's a little X right right here perfect little X and like he said he ran over all this yesterday so that it wasn't there. It's right outside of our living room windows. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it <clears throat> or not. But they've put a lot of uh, glyphs and things like that on this side of the house. So that's pretty interesting and cool. It is Friday, July 13th, 6.39 p.m., and we just found this magnet on the side of the grill, and what's weird is I was just thinking not long ago that they haven't brought a magnet for in so long, and there, there's one on the grill today, but I don't know how long it's been there because it kind of blends in and Sometimes I don't see stuff. But what's also weird is that I just came out and I I put something on the gifting board over here for them. And as I walked over, I said, hey guys, I'm bringing you something and I'm putting it here. Okay, they haven't touched it. But then I went in the house and I walked around the house out around the front to the side because I wanted to take another couple more pictures of that little X by the tree root and while I was back there I heard something hit the house like a thump and Jim didn't hear it but 
Yeah, I don't know if that, I thought maybe it was them. That's what, that's what made me come out here to see if they'd done anything. So I don't know if they brought that just now or if that wasn't them or what. But that's what happened anyway, so. Cool. I'm going to tell them thanks. It's now 8.13 and I came out here to, I cleaned the windows and the grill off and um, wiped them down. And I came over here to check this to see if anything changed, and it has. That's moved. So I don't know if they came up here and did that, or if someone else knocked it. I'm not sure. But I have a feeling it was them checking it out. And I'm going to get rid of this bird poop. It's just disgusting. Saturday, July 14th, 7.08 a.m. Okay, I've been up investigating, and first thing I noticed was my chair straightened. And I was up at 4.30 to go to the bathroom, and purposefully looked out, and it wasn't straightened. And my stepson had gone to work. So, it wasn't straightened then, so I know he didn't do this for sure, and he he's not doing any of this stuff, of course, neither is Jim. But I just wanted to mention that because I know he couldn't have done that. Um, so they've, they've done that, but this is only the beginning of what was done last night. I'm going to check my shoes real quick, make sure there's nothing in them. Okay, nothing in my shoes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to get off of here and show you the rest. The second thing I noticed when I came out was this. Very interesting situation here. Um, first thing you see is that Jim's truck is up on his legs. Cars turned, and the next thing I noticed was that this Bigfoot doll has grass right across its face, and there's a little something attached to it here. There's grass there, grass there, grass here, and here, but right here is a burr. Now we've seen burrs, places where we know that they were in the garage. Uh, one time, we know that they had messed around right here, and there were burrs on the carpet right there. Bigger ones, but... Um, another thing I noticed was this. That was in there last night and it's been in there okay I'm going to show you a picture of that so hold on this is the last picture of the railing that I that I took um, of the dolls and everything that's how they were that's how they were last night they were they haven't been messed with in quite a while um, now if you look at closely I had made that flower arrangement but it died because they hadn't messed with it okay so I took it apart but I want to show you too before I move on that that Bigfoot doll had nothing stuck to it there's no grass and no little leaf thing 
Okay. Okay, the next picture I'm going to show you was taken July 12th, which was two days ago at 9.50 a.m. And this is the bowl after, whoops, after I took the flower arrangement apart because it had died. I wanted to leave the little bow that I made, so it was there. And as you can see, down in the uh, little metal basket was that piece of flower that I left. I don't know why I left it. I just decided to leave it. And you can also see that underneath the bow, there is nothing. Now when you look here, now, today, there is that, I don't even know what it is, underneath it. So how did I get there? Unless this was messed with. So, also, as I showed you, this was in the basket, so it had to be taken out. Okay, now I ask the question. At first I thought maybe an animal got up here and was messing around, but would an animal take that out of there? And how did the leaf get under there? And why isn't the stuff knocked off if it was an animal? This is very strange. We're wondering why the, <laughs> why the truck is on Jim's legs. Okay, we don't know. Maybe it was just the messy little one up again. I don't know. We're also wondering if this was purposefully placed. Or, something else I noticed is that the girl has junk in her hair. And in that last picture that I took of the railing, that wasn't in there. So we're also wondering, because these look moved to me. They're crooked. So I'm wondering if they were down, had to stop playing with them. Oh, and the two magnets that were here are down there now. So if those got knocked off, I think they would have fell right there. They're clear over there. So I don't know if they got everything down. Or some of it down. I don't know what went on. But there's one, another thing that happened that makes me think that, that it was not just a little animal that was up, but that it was them. Because <clears throat> if you remember yesterday, uh, this little stick thing that I put on this was moved. Well, now it's gone. Let me show you the picture of how I left it. Okay, this was last evening. I watered the flowers, and I took the uh, hose, and I, I took this over, and I sprayed that poop off. That, it was right there, I think. The bird poop. And then we put it back neatly, because I wanted, you know, I wanted to put it back for them in case... That was them messing with it, and sure enough, it is gone, gone, gone. Okay, and then, um, two, I think it was two nights ago, we were sitting on the front porch, and we heard stuff going on around the house. Um, I can't explain everything, because I don't even, I can't remember it all, but there was definite stuff going on. Enough that we thought maybe they were over there, and I heard stuff going on back in here. So I thought, okay, I'm going to, we were going in, but I thought I'm going to put a banana out here just as a gift on the swing. Okay, so this was two days, two nights ago that I put that there. So, if there was a little animal up like a raccoon, surely it would have gotten that banana by now. So, I really don't think that's what was messing around. 
especially since the little stick is gone and um what else happened oh my chair was straightened yep so too much to think it was just a little animal messing that stuff up so that leaves the question and probability that that burr is probably off of them <clears throat> I'm gonna look at it <clears throat> closer I don't think there's any hairs on it I don't see any hairs but that's pretty interesting and I wonder why it's right in that crack oh wait 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 moved really oh okay it's moving because of that little piece of wood all right well I'm not sure what to do about that if I should collect it or just leave it so I think that's it if there's anything else I'll let you know I just removed the piece of grass from that that doll's face right there and there it looks like there's a hair exactly underneath that piece of grass so I'm going to collect it It's Tuesday, July 17th, and it's 2.02 p.m. I just got home from work, and I came up here on the landing of the garage, and I looked out the window and saw something yellow in the magnetic bowl. And I am so excited. And <laughs> they brought me a black-eyed Susan and put it in the bowl. And for one thing, that's just so sweet. I don't even, I can't even <laughs> say how sweet that is. That is awesome. And I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the bow being yellow. 
and that's yellow. But that is one of the sweetest things they've done for me in a while. That is so awesome. Aww. And I love those. And I don't, you know, there's not any growing, like, right around the house that I know of, so they had to have gotten that somewhere away from here. I got these ones planted over here, but that's, those are not Black Eyed Susans. It's something else. Let's see, these are, this is a bigger flower, and this is not, besides when I bought it, I looked, and that's not what those are called. So, that just makes me so happy. And I don't see anything else. And they still have, I believe, the black marble and that stick and my recorder. <laughs> so, that's all. I'm going to go tell them how much I love this. And thank you. So, that'll be all for now. I forgot about these black eyed Susans that are down here by our mailbox. But, these are just coming out. They're just blooming. This is the most um, full one. And I don't see any of these picked. So, I don't believe they got that from here. I don't see any at all. So I'm pretty sure they got that off somewhere besides around here. Another thing about them putting it here is that, see I had this tied around a flower arrangement and they didn't take it or anything. But I'm wondering if the fact that it's yellow and I use this for a flower arrangement had something to do with them bringing the flower. I can almost guarantee that it did. So that's really nice. I put the flower up here with my collection of things that they've given me. And I've been thinking about just how sweet this is because I mean, they had to get it somewhere away from the house. So that means, first of all, they were thinking about me. And second of all, it means that they picked it, thinking of me, and they carried it from wherever they picked it to my back porch. I mean, holding it in their hand. I mean, how sweet is that? They are just so awesome. I don't even know how to get it across to people. Just how sweet and awesome that they can be.